Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your daily advice reading for November 15th, 2016. Um, I apologize for posting this a little bit later than I usually do, but I've been working hard on the weeklies and I've got them done and posted, so um, check those out and that's why I'm a bit late with this um, video. Um, but uh, we are looking at the energy surrounding us on... Um, on or around the 15th of November 2016, okay, because even though we try to pinpoint it, energy is fluid, so whenever you hear the message, that's when you're meant to hear the message, don't focus too much on the date. Um, and so we're looking at the energy surrounding us and what we need to know about these energies in order to be able to use them for our highest good. So um, thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for joining me and for supporting my work every single day, whether it's by subscribing, watching my videos, liking them, sharing them, commenting, um, follow me on Instagram, okay? Whatever support, whatever kind of support you send my way, even if it's just positive thoughts, um, I do appreciate it. And I send lots of love um, in return. And we're just gonna jump right in. I love the energy that we have for today. It feels very fitting um, after the super full moon we had on the 14th. It feels very fitting, okay, because it talks about moving forward, releasing, letting go of the past, and starting new things at this time that will, in the course of, you know, of time, and given everything that we're supposed to do to nurture them, um, bring stability, lots and lots of stability in our lives. Uh, so... First card that we have representing the influence of the past on our current situation, we have the Six of Swords. So with the Six of Swords, this is releasing everything else, taking the lesson with us, and moving forward towards harmony, moving forward towards healing, towards a peaceful time, smoother waters, calmer times ahead, um, is the energy of the Six of Swords. Um, it follows the Five of Swords, so that's what we're leaving behind. And the Five of Swords brings in energy of chaos and destruction and challenging times, challenging situations, challenging people, difficult times, drama, arguments, gossip, you know, people backstabbing each other, um, feeling left out, feeling pressured, feeling bullied, feeling confused, feeling like things are overwhelming. Um, that's definitely the energy of the Five of Swords. And with the Six of Swords, that's what we're leaving behind. Okay, we are taking away the lessons, everything that we've learned in that change time. Okay, because Fives talk about change. So we're taking everything we've learned during that time of change and all that chaos that came with it. Releasing everything else. So not carrying negative emotions with us, not carrying negative energy with us, grudges, pain, regret, guilt, releasing all of that, taking away the lesson of it, what we learned about ourselves, what we learned about, you know, patterns in our lives and what we're uh, doing, supposed to be doing, not supposed to be doing, what we want to be doing, and so on and so forth. Taking the lessons and moving towards smoother times, smoother waters, towards Harmony with the six, okay? Harmony, healing, love, friendship. Um, that is the energy that we're moving towards, okay? And it definitely comes with a lot of work, but we did it and we're moving forward. The energy for today is the seven of coins. Now, the seven of coins is a card that is asking us to take some time to consider what we want to do. Okay, the Seven of Coins is a card that says, you know what, you've put in the work. Um, now it's time to wait for things to come together. We've done everything that we were supposed to. Now it's time to allow for things to take their natural course and just be a little patient until things come together just the right way for us to receive our rewards, for us to enjoy the harvest, okay? And during this time, we are encouraged to reflect, to assess, to reassess. Am I happy with the way things are going? Am I happy with the, the rate, the speed um, of things? Am I happy with the direction 
Am I happy with what I'm getting out of my um, investments? Okay, what I'm putting my time and energy into, am I happy with what I'm getting in return? Am I appreciated? Or am I being taken for granted? Do I, do I have satisfaction? in my job, in my relationships, in my health and well-being, my projects, do they give me satisfaction? Do they give me joy? Do they give me that sense of fulfillment? It's a really beautiful time for us to take a few deep breaths, relax, and just look back to see how far we've come and if any tweaks need to be made to the plan or to see if we want to start a completely different path because we absolutely can. We have the fruits of our labor um, coming to us. We have the resources required if we want to change paths, if we want to start something new. The, harv the harvest is coming, okay, with the seven of coins, absolutely. It may just need a couple of days for things to mature uh, or a little, a little time for things to come together okay it's the same as planting something okay you plant the seed and then you water it and then you nurture it and then as it grows you make sure that it's healthy that it has it, what it needs that you clean the, the the plant whatever that is okay that you um chase away <laughs> parasites and all of that and make sure that it's healthy um but then you just have to wait for it to do its thing and then flower or blossom um, and so that's the kind of time that the Seven of Coins talks about, okay? Between us doing everything that we could and then allowing for things to come together in their own time and the way they're supposed to and then have the harvest and enjoy the harvest. And the energy that we're moving into tomorrow with is the energy of the Emperor. And this is a major arcana card. This says that the lessons we've learned, the work that we've put in, it's bringing stability for a long time to come. It's bringing life changes. It's bringing uh, shifting our paths towards peace, stability, and being more in control of what goes on in our lives. Not feeling stuck, not feeling powerless, not feeling like other people are, are doing everything. Um, we're not doing anything. Not feeling like other people are pushing us and pressuring us to do what they want no more working towards other people's dreams okay really taking charge really being in control being um, able to use our instincts and act accordingly to create stability to manifest stability and long-term independence and security okay is what is coming up with the emperor and the guidance card that we have for today is ruby rejuvenate your body the number is eight so this is definitely saying heal the body it, it is the physical body but it is also emotional the emotional body the mental body and the spiritual body this is saying take time today to rest take time today to allow for yourself to feel calm and at peace relaxed take it all in okay take it all in allow it to give you that sense of satisfaction confidence calm and then create new beginnings or see new beginnings happening okay that give you um that rejuvenating feeling that that restore excitement to your life that recharges your batteries Okay, and this is definitely saying rest, relax, recuperate, and then start again. Okay, and the number eight is a number of abundance, success, strength. Okay, so they're saying get your strength back. Give yourself a moment to get your strength back, to find your center, and then set off into new horizons with the fruits of your labor, with your harvest. Okay, so it looks like a really, really beautiful day, very soothing, calming energy, feeling comfortable, feeling at peace, feeling like our work paid off or is paying off and opening up 
to new options, to new possibilities, to new beginnings that bring us long-term stability and peace of mind and success, a sense of fulfillment, because that is very, very important. And it's all about us moving forward, our dreams, our goals, not in a very selfish way, but in the way that we deserve, because we deserve to nurture ourselves. We deserve to be happy. We deserve to work on our dreams just as much as we work on helping other people with their dreams. And the emperor is definitely saying stability is coming in. Calm, energy, feeling more in control, feeling more at peace. And no matter what goes on, it's not going to knock you off your feet anymore because you're very grounded at this time. You're planting your feet very firmly on the ground. Okay, so definitely take some time today to relax, take a few deep breaths, do a meditation, a prayer to calm the mind, to take it all in and experience how far you've come, what you've accomplished, the hard work that was necessary to break certain patterns, to release certain negative energies that maybe you've been carrying with you for so long. It takes work, it takes effort, and you've done it. So really give yourself the time to take that in, to acknowledge that. And then let that be the feeling of fulfillment. Let that be the harvest that you're experiencing and that you use to propel yourself forward into this direction of peace, harmony, stability. So I feel like it's a really beautiful message, very calming, very soothing energy. Uh, coming through um, the cards. So um, I hope that the message makes sense and I hope that um, it helps. Um, I hope that we all have a very peaceful, rewarding, successful day and um, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.